hamster tap tap and there is a desert or uh, ancient egypt event going on like immediately after the last one so here's how to get all of the hidden fish and do all of the stuff um first things first every new event uh f well even before the first things zero th things zero th um, they do these stupid phased rollouts that no other game I've ever played does. And basically, if you don't have the game, there's nothing you can do. Just wait, and like in a week, you'll get the update. The up the events run for like four weeks. They never, ever, ever tell us when they're going to end until it's like a week out. Um, they absolutely are terrible, terrible, awful, awful garbage at any kind of community management. They don't communicate at all. Things just happen. Um, it's a disaster. Burger place. Uh, but yeah, then after you are aware of these things, um, t to start off the event, what you're going to want to do is go into this little palette menu next to the camera, scroll all the way down, and in each one of these three categories, there is always a, uh, new theme item. This time, obviously, they're ancient Egypt theme, you got Pharaoh, you got die. This time you want to buy the die first, the die is only 200 onks, you know, the event currency, and yes, if you have currency, it rolls over to the next thing. And I, I almost shudder to say that because that used to always be the case and they tried to renege on it uh, in the Valentine's Day event, but I think the backlash was sufficient to pre prevent it. By the way, um, everyone, was, everyone that tried to defend the way the Valentine's Day event was, which it was terrible, um, this is why we complained, because we made the events better. They went back to being good, mostly. They're still a little worse than before, but it, they're better than Valentine's crap. Anyway. Always, always buy all three of these items. You're not going to save anything. You're you're wasting your time, and you're going to not get a hidden fish if you don't buy these. Like, seriously, just buy them. A lot of times people don't get them because they don't like them or whatever. It's just like, just get them, please. You will save yourself a lot of candy because the hidden fish require them. So, next, let's go on to the hidden fish. I'll talk about the little crab later. Um... I first started the video with the crap, and then I figured, like, if I don't mention the hidden fish in the first couple minutes, people are gonna just be completely psychotic. I, I... People get really bad with questions on the Abyssin videos, I don't know why, like, people will ask for the video that, like, is the video that I made. Anyway. So, Sand Angelfish is not hidden. <laughs> Only applicable during event period in May. Uh, oh, okay. I guess this is like a May, I guess it's May long. It's a May length event. I don't know why they said it like that. I don't think they realized what, I think they just kind of set out like a boilerplate thing for like a May event and they made it Egyptian later. Anyway, as always, our first hidden fish, watch add to obtain Ankh 10 times. I don't know why the counter says 0 out of 10, but obviously I have it. You just gotta watch this ad. You can't watch any other ads, it has to be these ads specifically. Uh, just watch those 10 times and you'll unlock that fish. Cactus Puffer, you need to share three images of the Hermit Crab. The Hermit Crab does not have to be out of his little shell. You just take a picture of this corgi thing, basically, whenever the, uh, when this die is active. So that one's pretty easy. Pharaoh Dumbo, you have to create three ancient seahorse after wearing the event costume. That's the Pharaoh thing. Like I said, if you if you don't buy the Pharaoh thing and you make three Dumbos without that, uh, they don't count, and you have to go back and do that. So you're gonna waste your candy if you don't do that. So don't don't be silly. Uh, Cactus Ray, you have to tap the little candy icon, the Anx, above the Cactus Jellyfish, 300 times. I think these counters are off because I transferred my cloud save from my phone to the to the thing. But yeah, that must be why. But yeah, 300, it sounds like a lot, but if you have at least two of the little cactus things and you store all of your other fish, it goes by pretty fast. We're talking like 10, 20 minutes tops, M closer to 10. Ancient Colacanth, I really love the designs in this event, by the way, but I'll do another video where I just show off all of the things. Um, capture three images, Just that just means um, take the picture. You don't have to save them. But you just take three pictures of the cactus ray, at, and you have to be wearing the event costume. Again, just wear the event costumes. It saves so much grief. Uh, and then there's the ancient killer whale. There's there's a there's only twelve, I think. How many is there? No, there's fourteen. There's fourteen uh, new fish in this, plus one premium one. But yeah, to get the ancient killer whale, you have to create a manta ray after activating the level 10 hermit crab, which that doesn't just mean you have to level it up to level 10, you have to actually cast it. 
and you have to complete the animation. You have to like, oh, create the ray, and then you gotta click through all of these things. I made two extra rays because I didn't click fast enough, so you gotta just go right in. You have about a minute, so I mean, it's not that dire of like a timing thing, but it did catch me by surprise. So, what's all this funny business about a hermit crab? Basically, once you buy the die, you get the hermit crab for free, and he's under this little corgi thing. And what you do with the Hermit Crab is you can level it up, basically like the Coralite. And there's certain conditions, like most of them just cost um, onks or candy. Um, sometimes you gotta unlock a certain amount of, uh, or purchase a certain amount of event fish. I love that whale photobomb thing they do. But yeah, two, the, the thing's a little bit confusing, so it has this meter. There's two different meters, which is dumb. They're actually, I guess in a way, three meters. But to charge the meter to cast it, what you gotta do is tap like 20 different... Um, onk symbols off fish, and then it'll you'll see that me that little clock icon over it And then he kind of does this little little dance thing And this is when you need to make the manta ray by the way to get the uh, killer whale So yeah, he just kind of does this little dance here. Oh, I hate photo quests so much I I hate anything that like steals my control unexpectedly and the the photo quest is so worthless. It just frustrates me Anyway, look at him go Unfortunately after the event I, I think It'll be kind of like the toy train where he'll still be with the die, but you won't be able to activate him. So I kind of hope they like, if you play the event, that you'll get like a free expand decoration that lets him kind of dance around. Because that is just really cute, and I want to be able to see it. But I don't know if we will or not. But yeah, hoping so. Look at that little seahorse go! It's very small. But yeah, the fish, I really love the ancient Egyptian designs here. It's, a, it, it's an aesthetic I really like, and I like those, the pyramids in the background. I, I think this is a really good event stylistically as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the mechanics of the thing. Oh yeah, so once it's level 10, every level you level up the crab, it gets one more candy per tick of the clock, basically. And so at level 10, which costs about 5,000 candy total. You get about 2,000 candy per cast, and it doesn't cost anything to ca cast it. You just have to tap 20 icons. Uh, so it's like pure profit. And so you can cast it up to 10 times a day, and that 10 times per day resets when the daily mission resets. Um, up when you click the trophy icon, there's a time. It's different for everybody's time zones based on server time. And so basically you can get up to two, you can get around 2,000 candies per cast at max level, so that means about 20,000 candies per day. Now this event is more expensive than the last event. For instance, the, the whale, the sand whales, 18,000 candies, but I think they struck an okay-ish middle ground between Song of the Moon. Song of the Moon still doesn't work, by the way, um, which is kind of funny, because it, it feels like the, the in-app purchase thing, which I'll show you, by the way, that it's, it's a fox, it's, you paid $10 for it. A dumb animal wearing a scoop of thing, as always. Uh, but yeah, I don't recommend the in-app purchase. Uh, I think I do think in terms of if they really, really have to take away Song of the Moon, which they seem really ardent on doing. I don't know why. It just seems dumb, especially since now that like they've basically solidified that, you know, people had that had lots of candy you know, get, get to keep their stuff, and it just kind of solidifies newbies not being able to compete, but this definitely makes it better, because you'll be getting 20,000 candies per day, basically, and um, considering there's a week that's, you know, there's, you know, a full month, so let's say 30 times, you know, 20,000, that's that's a good amount. That's, uh, yeah, that, that'll get you quite a few of the thingers, and uh, you do have to tap to get up to that, but I think that's a good... I do wish there was more ways to get candy. I, I never liked, even with Song of the Moon, I never really liked it just, you had to click the screen a lot. It's like, bah, 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 bah. This is just not exciting gameplay, really. It was nice to be able to, like, stack your bonuses with the free uh, Spirit of Life from the daily quest things. Uh, that was kind of fun to get, you know, that rush of stuff, and then, you know, you just do that every day. Um, the the 5,000 tap mission no longer gives the candy, by the way. Thank God. I hate that. I, I never ever do that. Even with the using an emulator where I can use like a macro, I don't I don't usually bother to do that. I hate the 5000 tap thing. It just takes so long and it like it can physically damage like your body. Like it's not cool to make people just click a lot like that. That that causes repetitive stress injury. 
Like somebody said I was dishonorable because of my Abyssrium auto macro thing, and I kind of had to throw some shade because like, people have, you know, wrist injuries. People, there's tendons in your wrists that do not enjoy tapping literally 50,000 times uh, within a month on a stupid fish game. It's not okay to cause people to hurt themselves because you don't want to give people Song of the Moon. That's, that's no. I'm sorry, but no. So I, I'm kind of glad that this makes that more obsolete. I like the, I like waiting to get stuff more than tapping to click stuff. And in an idle game, it should be idle. You should come back in an hour and you should have stuff. This game is a little bit less idle when it, you know, it makes you just tap a lot. So I really do think they struck a better balance here. Uh, time will tell. I don't know the total cost, and I already had candy built up. So I don't really know what it's like for a new player, so I do want to see some feedback from new people who started from zero candies, what they think this event is like. But uh, I definitely think it's... I think we've corrected the trajectory. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, why do you complain about the Valentine's Day event? They're, they're trying something different, even if it's objectively terrible and is deliberately attempting to manipulate us for money. It's different, and different is the only thing that ever matters for anything. And um, I don't... I don't know why people try to defend so hard. Hermit Crab is dormant. He is at rest. Rest in pieces, Hermit Crab. Needs, he needs to take a break. Yeah, if you click recover now, by the way, it costs you like a bunch of pearls, I think. And it only gives you like half as many things. Yeah, it doesn't even doesn't do a full recharge. Don't do don't do it with pearls. This is their whale trap, basically. Uh, literally, you could say even. But yeah, it, pfft, don't don't do that. It is a better payoff. Like, I think it, it costs like 300 pearls to bring back that stupid dumb platypus that I hate forever. Uh, just once for only like three hours. Oh, look at it. But I hate that. I hate when people try to be fun with design that's trying like, hey, hey, spend your money, you stupid, fat, ugly slob. You stupid, dumb loser. Don't you want to spend all of your money on this little game? Isn't this the only fun you have in your entire life? I hate that kind of design so much. Anyway, <laughs> we're just going to keep that out of sight and out of mind now. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot better. Then the last event, I still think, <coughs> I still think stuff like the Christmas event was better. Uh, I do think more hidden fish would be my main complaint at this point. I think that's honestly more pressing. There's only like four or five kinds of hidden fish. Oh, and as always, there's a written guide on my site. Just go to sirtab.com or go to the comment or the description. There's a link to the written guide. Uh, anything you could possibly ask is already in the written guide. Most of the comments I get on my written guide and like questions, they're they're in the guide. And they're in the, the section. They're, they're exactly where you'd think they would be. I don't... I don't understand. So, somebody asked why the uh, otter wasn't in the game, and... It says right under the otter that his limited time ends May... or March 30th. So that's... Why I wasn't there. But anyway... <laughs> I don't mind... I don't mind, like... I don't want to say stupid questions, but... They're kind of stupid questions, but as long as people aren't rude, I do get a lot of rude. The rude co questions are way worse, or the rude comments. Like the people defending the Valentine's Day event, that was those people were awful. They were so rude and just terrible about it. And it's just like, it's a game trying to exploit people. Why? Why are you? What's wrong with you? Stop it. Get some help. Anyway, that's the Egypt event. Um, pretty, pretty good, I think. Love the aesthetic. 10 out of 10 on aesthetic. I would say 6, 7 out of 10 on cost. I, I do like the Hermit Crab idea. I don't I don't know long term how, how sensible it's going to be. Uh, the cost is definitely higher. I haven't calculated the cost. I, I won't calculate the cost. Someone else will calculate the cost. Um, Pharma Lesbian on Reddit is usually very good at uh, doing all that stuff. So wait for her, I guess. Um... I wish there was more hidden fish, and I'm... Yeah, those are my two main points at this point. I wish there was more hidden fish, more fun unlocks. I think the Christmas event owned just because it had so many fun and different ways to do things, to unlock stuff, and um, I'm, I'm curious about the whole cost versus the Hermit Crab bonus thing. I wonder how that'll shake out, so I'll keep, I'll keep an eye on how people think that's going. I do think 
that this is definitely a, a much better way to play than that. The, um, what was, I don't even remember what it was anymore. The stupid last event that made a lot of people quit the game. May it rest in pieces. Um, oh yeah, the like sandwich event with the sandwich fish. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're getting a little bit rambly. So yeah, that's how you get all of the hidden fish in this uh, thingy. And where's that krill farm, by the way, guys? That was like, it's almost been a full year since fusion fish started rolling out. And we still don't have the krill farm. Like, what the heck, Arena? Anyway, that's a mystery for now. I think, think things, things are looking up. The uh, hopefully the trajectory continues and they find like a way to be fun without Song of the Moon. I don't, I don't, I still don't feel it was really necessary to get rid of Song of the Moon. The thing is like, it's not like the Fennec really feels more valuable. Like I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it affects the crab too, but I guess it just doesn't feel as significant. But yeah, like I said, I'm getting rambly. We stop the video, tap tap. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope that helps. Oh yeah, and as always, uh, I really support, or I, I really appreciate support from all my patrons on Patreon. If you, uh, if my stuff has helped and you want to donate a little bit, so that's always welcome. Uh, if you donate two bucks or more, you also get an ad-free login to my site. You can just log in with your patron login, actually, so you don't have to do a new. You don't have to give your email address. You don't have to like get, get, make a new password, a new account. No new account. You just log in with Patron. Uh, to my site. It's 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 pretty spiffy really. So uh, try that out and um, Or just you can get donate on PayPal too. That's always very appreciated, but uh, Yeah, where donations mean more time I can spend on stuff like this more time I can spend on guides and games in general I don't just make guides for Vistream. I do a lot of stuff So yeah, have fun tapping everybody <laughs>